Presbycusis is the technical term for the all too common hearing loss that often comes with age. But a significant number of babies are born deaf, and many others become deaf or hard of hearing before becoming senior citizens. Why did their hearing losses occur? Out of every 1,000 babies born in the United States, one or two will be born deaf. Another three to five babies out of that same 1,000 will have a significant degree of hearing loss. Why are these babies born deaf? Some families have a dominant genetic factor that passes deafness from generation to generation. If both deaf parents have a dominant genetic factor for hearing loss, all of their children may be deaf. However, depending upon the dominance of the genetic hearing loss, some children may be deaf, some hard of hearing, and some may have normal hearing. For the most part, just looking around at other family members of the deaf couple seems to be the best predictor of the amount of hearing their children would likely have. It is important to know that these families are usually a part of a local deaf community and live rich, fulfilling lives. In fact, many of these individuals value their deaf culture just as much as many of us value our ethnic or religious cultural affiliations. For the rest of the deaf and hard of hearing population, dominant genetic causes are not a major factor. Their hearing losses are the result of many causes, including complications at birth, disease, taking certain medications, exposure to noise, and injury. A complication at birth resulting in a hearing loss may be a reaction to a medication administered during the birthing process or perhaps being deprived of sufficient oxygen for a significant amount of time. Some children may have been exposed to disease such as meningitis shortly after birth, or they may have been exposed to a variety of viruses that may cause damage to the auditory nerve before or after birth. Adults too may acquire a hearing loss because of diseases and medications. Loud music is an increasingly common cause of hearing loss especially among young people. For workers exposed to loud noises on the job, use of protective ear devices has reduced hearing loss from noise. Finally, injury to the mechanisms in the ear or the auditory nerve from accidents will also result in some degree of hearing loss. You can see why regular hearing evaluations are important for the young, the old, and everyone in between. For very young children, hearing tests are critical because hearing loss affects language development. A qualified audiologist can measure and assess the degree of hearing loss even in very young infants. If a hearing loss is detected, regardless of the person's age, much can be done to help. And that's our cultural moment.